Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with another Raspberry Pi case, really interesting changes if we compare to one of the other models that we have seen. I will leave a link down below for this version and also a version that has a plate that we can put an NVMe SSD. So that might be an interesting upgrade as well. Now it has a few improvements, one of which is the material, which is ABS in this particular moment. This one was not bad, it was actually really nice, but this one is even better. It has acrylic on the sides and it has a really interesting improvement, actually a few ones, but the OLED display is placed in a way that we don't have any issues whatsoever. So I'm going to share with you how easy it is to assemble this case. Now, to start off with, we will have everything on this particular case right over here. Once again, the link will be down below. All the accessories, including a really small screwdriver, will, which will be more than enough. But I do honestly prefer to use a little bit bigger because it's easier for my fingers. Now, in terms of the assembly, really easy. We will start by uh, placing the thermal pads on the Raspberry Pi 4. Start by placing the micro SD as mentioned on a manual but the truth is that and it's a good idea we have a cut on the back which will allow us to remove and to put the SD or the micro SD card so no worries if we miss this step after that we will need to take care of the cooler so we will need to put in the brackets as showed on the manual really easy and just screwed and that's it and then one improvement that I really enjoyed is that on the past we had to assemble everything inside the case at this moment that's not the case anymore we have four screws at the bottom and we can remove the tray Actually, we will need to remove the tray. Once we have the tray, we can then place the Raspberry Pi and the cooling fan, and we will put the screws underneath, and we will screw it to that tray. Once we have the four screws, then we can put the tray back into the case, and we just need to screw it back on the bottom, and that is it. Now, the OLED display, which is really, really cool, at this moment already comes with the cables pre-assembled and this is one of the things that I really enjoyed. All we need to do is to put the cable with the red, red wire for the right side and basically that is it. Also the cooling fan will be connected not to the Raspberry Pi but to the uh, connector next to the OLED display which is really cool as well. So we will have a case more organized, more clean looking which honestly I do believe that it's a great improvement. The tray and also the OLED display being already wired and so congrats here. Now lastly all we need to do is to screw the both acrylics that we have on both sides and that is it. Now there is one piece or one accessory that comes in and I will not be using in my particular case but if you want to use the uh, full potential of the GPIO then you might want to use this. All we need to do is before we assemble the acrylic we just need to put it in and this uh, will give us access to two GPIOs. On the top I can still connect the OLED display cables and then I will have one uh, right over here to the outside of the case which I can actually as suggested by 52Pi we can connect a cable to make it longer so that we have more space to work with and so on and so forth. So in my particular case as I said I'm not going to use but, is, but there's this possibility. That being said, all we need to do is to plug in power and plug in with our display which I've got right over here. I can leave the link down below as well for this display and basically that is it. We will be able to run. Now, in case you are wondering how we will be able to put the OLED display working, I have covered a video just talking about that so I will leave a link right over here or down below on the description and the only thing that I need to do next is to install the drivers for the RGB of the fan which I still haven't done it but nothing difficult the manual covers that as well so guys this is it improvements the material the tray being able to remove which is great and also the cable management which at this moment is really really cool in my opinion hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one